Okay, let's go over a very big sum. In this challenge, you are required to calculate and print the sum of elements in the array. So calculate and print the sum of elements in the array. Keeping in mind that some of those integers may be quite large. Okay, so we have, uh, we might have large numbers. Complete the a very big sum function. So this is the name of the function. In the editor below, it must return sum of all elements. So it has the following parameters int array n so it has an array with numbers n number of numbers so array of integers and it wants to return sum of all elements okay input format the first line of the input consists of an integer n next line contains n spaced separated integers contained in the array okay so what the, the what this basically saying is we have an array of numbers so one two three for, for example, but these are going to be really big. And quite often times when I do hacker ranker problems, I think uh, the, these uh, just confuse you a little bit more. The input format part. Output format return integer sum of elements in the array. So we want to return some kind of number. Uh, these are co our constraints. Uh, so our sample input. So this is saying that we have five elements. Um, I don't know why they give us that, but so we have one, two, three, four, five, and we want to add all these numbers up and return our output, which is going to be this. All right. Now let's call our solution. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. First thing we do is to cut our function which takes in an array and this array has a bunch of large numbers in it and I'm going to make a variable named sum and this is going to store our sum of the numbers and we'll return that later return sum and now what we want to do is we want to iterate to all of the elements in our array and add that to our sum variable so I'm going to use a for loop but this time I'm going to use for of so so const num of array I'm going to add it to my sum variable and you get a result so if you add all these numbers up this is what we get well this one is pretty shaky okay guys uh, let's go over our code just to get a better understanding and we'll go over this code because it better illustrates the concept so with the cutoff function, which takes in an array of integers, we made a variable um, result. You can call it sum if you like. And we started with zero and we return the result later when we're done looping our uh, for loop. So we declare fu this function, we run our for loop next. So starting at index zero, we're going to loop through the whole array by incrementing by one. And each time we loop, we're adding to our result variable array i array at index zero. That's what it starts with. Is going to be this number. So we add this number to our result. And next, we array at index one is going to be this number. So we add that. And next, we add this. We add this. We add this. And after we're done looping through this for loop. We're going to exit out of it and then return that result over here and that's why that's how we get this number now let's go over one more solution um this one is actually more typing i guess more code i mean less code um but this time what we're going to use is we're going to use reduce so we're going to return array dot reduce reduce is an array method um, if you're not too familiar with it try to look it up on mdn or google so we're going to give in two parameters. One is going to be a accumulator. Second one is going to be a function. I mean, a current value. And just follow with me for a while. And what we do is we add to our accumulator our current value, which is going to be all these numbers. And then we add it to our accumulator over here. So you know, this might look confusing, but what this is doing is pretty much the same as our for of loop. We're iterating through all of the numbers in our array. Remember, array, and we're using that uh, reduce method to iterate to all the numbers. And accumulator is where we store our stuff. Um, in this case, our sum. So you can actually call this sum. But I just prefer to use accumulator. Um, it's totally up to you to what to use. 
and current value is going to be uh, this number for the first iteration, this number for the second iteration, this and this and this for the next and following um, iterations. And for each iteration, we're adding our current value to our accumulator. So at first, it starts at zero. But then we add this number, we add this, this, and this, and this. And finally, when we're done looping or iterating through our array, we return our result. And it's the return statement over here. So compared to first one, this might not look too, um, I guess, familiar, but it is a good practice to use reduce function or actually reduce method.